What's going on everybody, it's Game Unboxing Reviews here, and welcome back to another LEGO Dimensions news update. Now this video is basically just going to be a bunch of new screenshots for the game that have been released at E3, and they are extremely cool, and there's a lot of them to get through. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so the first set of screenshots don't really show anything new from the game, but they are still pretty cool. So first off, of course, here we can see the legends of Chima themselves. We can see Laval, Kraga, and Eris all looking really cool. We can also see a waterfall behind them, which is nice as well. And you know, the, the screenshots in these areas and things, they do look a little more wide open. So we'll see if they're kind of like hubs or open worlds or something. There isn't really much else to say about the screenshot because, of course, I did cover, you know, Laval, Kraga, and Eris in the... Uh, the previous video, but they are still pretty cool and there should be fun characters to play as definitely. Next up here we can see the Joker himself driving around in Emmett's excavator from the Lego movie. We can also see of course that this is Bricksburg and it looks pretty big. I mean uh, at the back you can see something the wild style can jump up. Uh, you can see uh, one of the builders from the Lego movie in the background. It's looking really cool. I mean I don't know if this is like a hub or something or like a level but uh, you know you're definitely going to be going all over the universe. All over the Lego verse you're going to be going to places from the Lego movie, Scooby Doo, uh, Back to the Future, all sorts of places. So it makes sense to have, uh, you know, Bricksburg in the game, which is really cool. And Joker looks really nice here. I, I love the design they've chose for him. It's classic. It's the Lego Batman we've come to love, you know, from the games, which is great. And the vehicle as well looks really cool. Next up is an extremely awesome picture where here we can see Aquaman and a shark and I believe they're actually in Atlantis and that is really cool. So if we actually get to go to Atlantis in the game, that's going to be pretty interesting. That was one of the places I was hoping for them to go in LEGO Batman 3. I know that was set in space, but being able to go to Atlantis would have been so cool. So it's a shame they didn't do it there, but hey, you know, if this is it, then great because it looks really cool. Now something important to mention uh, when you look at these screenshots is look at where the studs are when you see the studs if there's a stud at that location chances are you will be able to reach it otherwise why would they put a stud there so we can see we can walk all around that little area and everything i can't see any studs at the top but i can see some lego pieces you know that you'd actually be able to destroy so yeah again you know these look like pretty wide open areas i mean if we get to run around a mini version of atlantis or something i think that would be pretty awesome Alright, so next up is just another quick screenshot from Aquaman, but here we can see he's pointing his trident at the enemy, and the enemy is being eaten by a shark. So is that like a special move for Aquaman? Personally, I think I would see him having, you know, similar abilities to Lego Batman 3, where he can like shoot water out his trident and things like that, and attack with it. But, you know, if the shark abilities as well, then that's awesome, because this is a pretty cool looking screenshot. Alright, so next up here we can see the Golden Ninja himself, Lloyd. Now, Lloyd is really cool. Obviously, he's from Lego Ninjago, um, but I really like the Green Ninja version of him a little more. Don't get me wrong, I love the Gold Ninja. It's just, you know, when you see him in the game and you see him in the, uh, you know, the show as well, it's just... He looks so cool as a green ninja and also his abilities as well. So hopefully they add that in some form eventually. Like it could be another character as in like a totally new set. It could be a costume. Also, that's something interesting to bring up. Costumes. Will there be costumes in this game? I know obviously you have the figures, but it would be pretty cool if they did something similar to power discs. Not physical ones though. So like Disney Infinity has power discs where you put it on, you put a character on it and then basically your black Spider-Man or something like that. So it would be cool with this one is if we could put down a figure and if the game recognizes that we have that figure then we can unlock different skins for it so for example something like uh, green ninja or batman beyond or something i just think that would be really cool and it allows you to have that much more freedom and you know how you break the rules which would be really cool Next up, we can see another screenshot from Lloyd, but this time he's actually flying around in Superman's hover pod. Now, obviously, we know that each vehicle in the game has three different versions um, of what you can transform them into, which is really cool. And, of course, they haven't showed uh, all the abilities and, you know, what they can all transform into. So it'll be interesting to see what Superman's hover pod can do and all the other vehicles as well, because I love that. I think that's really cool that you actually have to build... Um, you know into different things I think they're working on a way where you don't have to do that if you really if you you know if you just don't want to do it but uh, you know it's still pretty cool because it allows you to not only play the game but also play with the Lego which is interesting it's a different um, it's different from most Toy to Life games you know you've got your pieces and everything already and you just put them on the display but this game you actually have to build them which is it's pretty interesting 
Now here we can see Bane looking really cool. Big figure of Bane as well. That's important to mention. The Bane in this game, just like Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, he has the ability to transform into a big figure version of himself, which is really cool. We can also see, of course, he's trying to throw a boulder at poor old Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo's running away there. And I believe this is in Metropolis as well. They've shown quite a bit of this mission, so I wonder if it's going to be a big part of the story. Like, is it going to be like a final battle in Metropolis or something? It's definitely in a lot of chaos, so it seems like we're going to need the assistance of, say, Superman or maybe the entire Justice League. Who knows? We will just have to wait and see. Next up here we get another angle of that scene and we can see of course Bane's still got the boulder and Scooby-Doo looks more scared this time. He's moved a little and he's covering his eyes just like classic Scooby-Doo. I mean I'm curious to see if, is that his idle animation? Like if I just sit still will he just cover his eyes? Or does that actually happen when danger is nearby? So like Bane is about to throw a boulder at him right now which he should be terrified of because Bane is terrifying. Um, so does that do that for that reason or is it just an idle animation? I really like the animations in this game. I mean none of the characters look like like the same none of them feel the same they all act in the way you would expect them to be like marty mcfly has his guitar and scooby-doo has his feared animations and everything and bane has his giant transformation it's all really well done and also another thing to mention about bane he is way more detailed than lego batman 3 beyond gotham you can see the thing on his wrists you can see the pipes and everything i don't know it just looks much more detailed than the previous game which is is great because he looks amazing Next up here we can see Shaggy from of course Scooby-Doo and Superman from DC Comics. Now the funny thing is about these few screenshots is they kind of feel like a story. Like Bane is chasing Scooby-Doo for some unknown reason. Then Scooby-Doo pretty much doesn't find a way out. You know, he's stuck. Bane's going to throw the boulder. Then all of a sudden Superman and Shaggy come to the rescue. And I don't know, maybe Superman's fighting Bane and uh, Shaggy is trying to rescue Scooby-Doo. And then maybe he comes in with the mystery machine and runs Bane over. <laughs> you know, you could just make those kinds of scenarios which is great because you know the whole point of this game is to break the rules so if you want Marty McFly to team up with uh, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo you can do that I mean I think one of the coolest combinations I've, that I'm excited to see is the likes of say the Ghostbusters and Scooby-Doo I mean that is a perfect match I think that's going to be really interesting to see in gameplay and they all look great you know the designs and everything they're exactly what you expect those characters to look like and it's just brilliant really well done here we can see a quick screenshot of Eris from Lego Legends of Chima, and she looks really cool here. I like the weapon she's got in her hand, that looks nice. And then we can also see the blue flying monkeys from The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz seems like a big part in this game. I mean, I think they've said that it's one of the very first missions that you play in the game, so, you know, it definitely seems important. And of course, there's that big boss battle with the Wicked Witch and everything. So if you're a fan of Wizard of Oz, then I think you'll be very interested to see this game, because there's some interesting stuff going on, definitely. Next up, this screenshot is so cool. I mean, when I saw this, I was like, what? This is Hill Valley. This is Superman and Marty McFly in Hill Valley. Personally, honestly, I just want to run around here as Marty McFly. I, I would happily put Marty McFly on the pad and then put Doc Brown and just have the two walk around Hill Valley, driving around the DeLorean and everything. Oh, it would be so much fun. And this looks so cool as well. I mean, even uh, if you look carefully, there's kind of like a film grain to it. Like, it's just a little lighter i guess I'm, i can't really explain it but you know the graphics look a little different just like how scooby-doo you know it had the um the lines around the characters and everything just like the show which is really cool and this looks like a grain filter like an old time movie not too much just a little and it looks awesome i mean we can see people in the back there we can see the chairs so you'll be able to walk around all of that area from the look of it which is great and honestly if there's hubs in the game, I really hope this is one of them because I would happily just run around Hill Valley for so long. It would just be so much fun. Alright, so the next part of the video is still screenshots, but a lot of it is from some new announcements from E3, and most importantly, that announcement is Portal content, so you'll meet characters from Portal in the main story and everything, and of course, you know, uh, Shell comes with her own level pack and everything, it's big, you know, if you're a fan of Portal, you're gonna love this game, plus, of course, they've confirmed that uh, some of the actors and actresses from previous uh, Portal installments are back, which is really cool, so for example, uh, you know, Ellen McLean, who is obviously famous for voicing Gladys she is back which is awesome and Stephen Merchant who played Wheatley is back as well which is just so cool I mean you know that that kind of um you know a dialogue between those two characters was hilarious so the fact that they're back I think even in Lego form as well I think Wheatley is going to be hilarious 
even more in Lego form, which is great. I mean, you get a little sneak peek at them in the newest trailer, which is really cool. And yeah, the portal content all looks awesome. I mean, it really does. I can't wait to play through it. And of course, you know, what's interesting about the portal content is that what they show in the gameplay at E3 at the moment, that's in the actual main story. But of course, we also know that Shell comes with her own mission. So there's basically two portal missions in the game, which is great because if you're a fan of portal, then you're going to love this game. Next up here we can see another screenshot from Portal and it's just so cool. I mean this gives you a great look at the level design. You know how well done the level design is. It's got the stickers and everything on the wall. It's got the camera looking things. It's got the cubes and all sorts. I mean honestly if you're a fan of Portal, as soon as you start playing this you're going to feel at home. You know you're going to feel like you're playing pretty much a Lego version of Portal which is great. And the cool thing I think they said was um, you know, even though Batman, Wildstyle, and Gandalf are in the main story, and you know, that is their quest, you don't have to play as them. You know, as soon as you get to this mission, if you just want to play as Shell, I think they said you could do that. If, if you just want to play this entire mission as Shell and, you know, just live out your fantasy of playing a Lego uh, Portal, you can do that, which is awesome. I'm really excited about the Portal content in this game. I never thought I would see a Portal lego game so it's going to be pretty cool to see how this is all handled and judging by what i've seen from the trailer and the gameplay at e3 i think it's going to be something really cool next up of course we can see the sentry turrets from portal but this time in lego form and one thing i love about these screenshots is just how true to these franchises this game is you know i know i've said that quite a few times now but the fact is you know when we saw the scooby-doo screenshots it looked like scooby-doo it had the outlines and everything we just saw uh, of course hill valley that looks like hill valley from the movie i mean it's so accurate and everything it's really well done and now we're getting these portal screenshots and i'm blown away by how accurate it is you know portal is a first person game and this game is third person and yet they still managed to do a brilliant representation of portal it, it looks amazing they've got the actors and actresses back you've got shell who you can play as you've got all the classic um you know environments and everything it's all so well done and so true to these franchises you know even though this game allows you to mix and match say um, franchises like you could take Marty McFly and team up with Shell. Yes, that's all well and good, but it is so true to it. It is really well done. I can't wait to play this game, not only with the mixing and matching, you know, teaming up characters that you wouldn't expect, but also just to see, I wonder what a Lego Back to the Future would feel like, or a Lego Portal, or a Lego Scooby-Doo, or something like that, because I'm really excited not just to break the rules, but also just to play as those characters in their respected environments, because that's going to be really interesting, and yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Next up, of course, we can see Shell in a Lego Ninjago area, which, of course, we've seen quite a few times in the trailers now. But the most important thing about this picture, I think, is the panel on the wall that uh, Shell has shot. And you can, of course, see a blue portal there. Now, the interesting thing about this is she's not just shooting a wall. You know, it's not like portal where you shoot somewhere and you'll be able to, you know, just walk through it. I don't think it's like that. What I think it is here is there'll be panels in the missions, in hopefully every mission, and, uh, you know, you'll shoot it with Shell's portal gun and then you'll be able to walk through it and you'll end up somewhere else so what i think might happen is yes there's a panel here but i think there might be a panel at the top of this building or something you walk through it and then you know you appear up there and then maybe there's a mini kit or something i could see it working like that i mean it's it's just really cool to see that the portal gun is in this game and it works and everything i'm really excited to see if there's more to it than this because the trailer made all the portal content look so cool and i think it's probably one of the most exciting parts of the game right now i mean they're really showing it off a lot and good because it looks awesome i'm really excited to play it now next up here we can see of course owen grady and the raptor blue from jurassic world so if you're not done with lego jurassic world you know you want more jurassic world content this is the game for you because of course you can play as owen grady and his raptor blue which is awesome i mean it, these two look really cool even though at first i wasn't completely sold on this raptor you know on this lego build of blue i actually really like it now i think it looks really cool in gameplay still i'm a little confused at why it has a red eye but you know still really nice i mean and also uh you know playing lego jurassic world i've realized owen is such a cool character he has so many cool abilities we can also see he's got his little dagger there just like in the game where you can cut like um you know ropes and vines and things so is he going to be able to do the same thing in this game because you know judging by what i've seen from the gameplay and everything a character that has had a game before that is in this game it seems like they have pretty much the same ability you know that's why they're there that's the reason for it so maybe there'll be like ropes and vines that only owen will be able to cut i could be wrong but you know we'll just have to wait and see 
Now this is an extremely awesome screenshot because first off of course in the background looks amazing. I mean the cool thing about this game is the fact that they get to use all these different franchises. It seems that they're also allowed to use different art styles and everything which is great. And right here you know it just looks really nice. But most importantly about this screenshot we can of course see that Owen Grady is riding the Raptor Blue. So I know a lot of people were hoping that in Lego Jurassic World you'd be able to ride you know the dinosaurs and sadly you could not. But in this game you can. You can play as Owen and ride around on Blue and it looks so cool. I mean, honestly, I, I love this now. I think this version of Blue looks really nice. And the cool thing about it is, you know, we see Owen Grady here. You don't have to be Owen Grady if you don't want to. You could be Shell and ride around on uh, Blue if you wanted to. Or you could be Marty McFly or Batman. It's completely up to you. And then, of course, you can do another thing. You could have Batman... No, sorry, not Batman. You could have Owen Grady driving the Batmobile. You know, all these combinations and everything. Just keep thinking about them because they're entirely possible. And that's the cool thing about this game. It's all about breaking the rules. And, you know, all these screenshots really show it off best, which is they're just brilliant. Really cool. Now, next up, we can see a screenshot of probably the most unlikely of team-ups. We can see, of course, Shell from Portal and Owen Grady from Jurassic World. Who would have thought that these two would one day team up? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody at all. It makes no sense at all. But here's the thing. Does that matter? Nope. Absolutely not. If you think that Shell from Portal and Owen Grady from Jurassic World would make a great team up, go for it. You know, just do it. See what it's like. And the cool thing about this game is just because it doesn't work means nothing. I mean, if you think that um, Marty McFly would look cool driving around the mystery machine, just do it. I mean, it might turn out funny. It might turn out cool. Who knows? I'm really excited to do all this mixing and matching. And I think they've only scratched the surface. You know, this game is going to be supported for years to come. And I think we're in store for a lot of really cool and exciting stuff. Here we can see, of course, Shell yet again in a portal environment, but we can also see Blue, the raptor from Jurassic World. And honestly, she doesn't look very happy there. She looks like she's about to pounce on Shell, so I think Shell should definitely watch out for Blue. Here we can see Blue from Jurassic World yet again with Shaggy from Scooby-Doo and Gandalf from The Lord of the Rings. Now, I believe they're standing somewhere in Middle Earth right now, but obviously I don't know where it is, but still looks really cool. I think this is a great screenshot because, you know, it just gives you a great example of the amount of combinations you can make with this game. And also the story mode as well. You know, the story is going to be hilarious. I mean, if you watch the trailers and everything, when you see Batman, Wildstyle and Gandalf interacting and everything, they're all from these different universes. They all live differently and have different lives lifestyles and you see that when they're talking you know you see Gandalf is old and from a different world you know an olden time world and of course you know Batman is from the present day and you know he's all uh, tough and uh, dark and everything it's just it's so cool bringing all these characters together and just seeing how they would you know what would Batman say to Gandalf if he met him what would Gandalf say to Wildstyle I mean that's just really exciting I'm really looking forward to the story mode of this game because you know from what they've shown it looks hilarious and I can't wait Next up, we can see Blue from Jurassic World again. There's a lot of screenshots of her for LEGO Dimensions recently, but they are cool, and, you know, it gives you a great look at the actual design in-game, and it's, it's really good. And, of course, we can also see the Wicked Witch from Wizard of Oz. Now, the great thing I think about this screenshot is Hill Valley. It's just another really cool look at Hill Valley. Honestly, if there's just a mission for the game, uh, obviously, we have seen there's a level pack, which includes a mission in Hill Valley as well, which is great. But, you know, if there's actually a hub world for Hill Valley, that would just be so much cooler. I mean, it just seems like kind of a waste to just have it as a mission, you know? It's such an iconic part of movie history. So the fact is, if you could actually walk around in it, it would just be so cool. But, you know, if they don't do that, then I'm perfectly fine with it because it'll just be like playing a Lego Back to the Future. I mean, personally, I really want to experience the Back to the Future content with the characters, you know? I, I just want to play as Marty McFly and Doc Brown in their respected areas. I think that would be great, but, you know, we'll have to see. I mean, I think there's going to be lots more Back to the Future content in this game that we don't know about yet, and I can't wait to see what they have planned. Here we can see Batman driving away in the Batmobile, but also if you look behind him, we can of course see Blue from Jurassic World chasing him. Again, you know, this is just a great example of the amount of combinations and everything. We can of course see they're in Metropolis as well. And another thing uh, to mention is what is that in the background, that big purple, uh, you know, wall? Is that going to be for like, a certain character that we don't know about yet? I mean, you know, obviously you will need the certain characters to unlock certain things. I imagine mini kits and everything are back, even though it's Lego Dimensions, you know, it's a 
a Toys to Life game, I'd imagine there will be mini kits and collectibles and things like that. So I guess, you know, maybe there's a character you need to use uh, to go over to that wall and then maybe he, uh, they can get rid of it and then you can get the mini kit. I could be wrong, but you know, we'll have to see. And last but not least, here we can of course see Kraga from Lego Legends of Chima riding Blue the Raptor from Jurassic World in a Lego Ninjago arena. I mean, again, you know, the amount of combinations you can make with this game is insane. We can also see, of course, Griffin Turner from Lego Ninjago in the background. No word on if he's going to be playable yet, but I really hope he is because there's no speedster characters that we know about yet that are going to be in the game, like the Flash. So I really hope characters like... Griffin Turner, The Flash, and maybe the Reverse Flash as well will be in the game because that would just be really cool. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, obviously at E3, they've been showing off a lot of really cool stuff for LEGO Dimensions. Big focus on the Portal content and a little more on Jurassic World as well, which is nice. But I really hope they show off Doctor Who at some point because I'm so excited to see Doctor Who in LEGO form. I've wanted a Doctor Who LEGO game for so long. So the fact is that we're getting kind of that in LEGO Dimensions, which is, is awesome. It's really cool. And also, I'd really like to see more info on the Ghostbusters uh, part of the game. I mean, how many Ghostbusters are we going to be able to unlock? Are we going to be able to drive the Ecto-1? Things like that. I really want to hear more because Ghostbusters in a LEGO game. I mean, that's awesome. That is just so cool. Alright guys, so I want to thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.